Is this really necessary? I could have called you. You know I don't like to bother with phones. Okay. Then I could have met you at the station. Why do we have to do this here? Too many listening ears. I want to keep this case under the radar. Wouldn't involving more people means the case gets solved faster? More people means that the case is going to get out faster. Especially a case dealing with a little girl. I just don't want this family to find out that way. I mean, losing a girl is horrible. A little girl especially. But what makes this case different from all the rest? Come on, I'll show you. What are we doing here? Keep your voice down. I'm just trying to see if they're all dead. There's the father and the mother. She's looking this way. She can't see us, but keep your voice down anyway. Those two are the sisters of the dead girl. They're waiting for their sister. We've got to tell them. Is there some way we could get the attention of the father and maybe tell him before the others? See, I don't know where to start. The father and the mother are old and ailing. And then the sisters are just so young. Then what do you want to do? You wanted to tell them before anyone else, and now you're hesitating. Perhaps we should do it nonchalantly. You know, make sure that we're not too sad, as if it was an ordinary event. Nonchalantly? You want to pretend that the death of a little girl is an ordinary event? Come on, we'll go to the other side of the garden. We'll go knock on the door, and then I'll go in first, and then you come in after. Oh, no, no, no. Not me. You go, and alone. They don't know me. I'm just the guy that found the dead girl. But see, that's it, though. I know them, and I don't know where to start. You're a stranger, and you know the details. Look, it may be easier coming from more than one person. I don't think that would help. There's nothing that could help them now. I mean, I almost didn't see her. I was running late and it was dark. She was half covered in reeds. If it weren't for the moon shining at just the right angle, she'd still be floating three miles up the river. The sisters just turned their heads. Lower your voice. So I went in. It was waist deep to get her. She was feather light and just beautiful. A lot like her sisters are now. God, I wish I didn't have this guilt. What guilt? Why would you feel guilty? I feel like there was something more I should have done. Look, there's nothing you could have done. When you found her, she was already dead. The only thing that we can do now is tell the family. I mean, imagine, she was alive this morning. I saw her at church. She said, hey, and then in a blink of an eye. Some say she went down to that river a lot to pick flowers of all things. They're so oblivious. They look like motionless dolls they beside you, day and night. And they exist only as you perceive them, in that moment, until they depart forever. She was so young. Her soul was so little and naive. They're smiling. It's because they're at peace. They weren't expecting her tonight. Father put his finger to his lips. He's calling attention to the child and the mother's heart. She dares not raise her eyes, lest she deserves its sleep.
They don't know what's happened. They think of themselves in safety. Look at the bars on the window. The doors are locked. They think they've foreseen all that they could foresee, but not this. We must end this by telling them. Someone could come in and tell them abruptly. Word travels fast, and if someone comes and knocks on the door... <laughs> You're right. I must tell them now. And alone. You were right about that, too. It needs to come from somebody they know. Stay here.